Welcome back friends. We are talking about different uh, cardiac processes. Now in this video we will be talking about cardiac cycle which is one of the most important uh, thing about the cardiovascular system. <coughs> now cardiac cycle means uh, kind of uh, everything that is going on inside heart uh, from uh, the contraction and relaxation of different heart muscles. Okay. <coughs> so it's the time duration for heart to take to take up the blood from the body and then release pure blood through different cells of the body and during that time the heart makes sound sounds called lub dub that sound we can hurt that characteristic sound of heart and that sound is generated due to the closing of different valves that are present in heart to understand cardiac cycle you must know anatomy of heart at the basic level so I assume that you know anatomy of heart in the basic level that means you know where the different valves of heart are presented what are the different aorta and what are the different veins that are coming in and out from the heart uh, to know this particular section okay so let's begin so <coughs> for for uh, for a very basic point I'm just going to draw uh, a small section about that about heart small anatomy about heart so if, if this is the heart that I'm going to draw then what we can see here in this heart that these are the two different section these are called the vena cava superior and inferior vena cava and then what we get we are getting here from from here we are getting two things coming in and out two major things this is the thing this is called uh, the aortic arch and this is called pulmonary trunk so aortic arch pulmonary trunk these are destined to deliver pure blood to different regions of our body and these are the vena, uh, vena cavas which are providing us <coughs> blood from different regions of the body so these are and this so they will bring carbon dioxide at the added blood to our body and these are the regions through where the oxygenated blood will move to different regions of our body and <coughs> between these placements we are having valves for example here it is a position of a valve here it is a position of a valve here it is a position and here it, there are four position of the valves here now what are those valves <coughs> the valve that is present valve means it's a structure with small soft tissue kind of structure which open and close to prevent the backflow of blood for example, the valve that is present between uh, this right aorta. So, and another important thing, whatever you're looking at the left hand side of you is the right hand side of the of the person's heart. Because if the person stands like that, this is the right side of the heart. So, this is the right. So, your left is the right of that person's heart. So, this is the right atrium and right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. So, the valve present in between the right atrium and right ventricle is called tricuspid valve it is called tricuspid and the valve that is present between the left atrium and left ventricle is called bicuspid and valve that is present between <coughs> our aorta different aorta and different aortic arch pulmonary arch in between uh, the different ventricular ventricular region it should obviously be a part of ventricular region these are called semilunar valve so this is very very important so so we are having here four different types of valve <coughs> tricuspid valve bicuspid valve and so these valves are also called as AV valves. These are called AV or atrioventricular atrioventricular valves or AV valves. And we are also having semilunar valves. One is the semilunar valves ball called aortic semilunar valve and this pulmonary semilunar valve. Okay, so we are having semilunar valve. So majorly this type. So two of them, two semilunar and one tricuspid, one bicuspid. All of them are atrioventricular valves these are present 
and the major region of of all this of this heart is to pump the blood right so ma major process so how to pump it they take the carbon dioxide carbon dioxide containing blood or, the, or which, which i call it a bad blood here from throughout our body using superior this one and inferior vena cava into this right atrium it pumps through the ventricle and again then ventricle when when ventricle contracts it pro pro provides oxygenated blood throughout the body because in ventricle the oxygenated blood come from the pulmonary vein through this section so if i draw here the pulmonary this is the only exception when a vein is carrying oxygenated blood and that is the pulmonary vein four there are two pairs of pulmonary vein there so through this vein blood oxygenated blood comes here into this out uh, this ventricle when the ventricle contracts they supply this oxygenated blood throughout the body okay so there is a task for heart to gather carbon dioxide containing blood through from the body different cells of the body and then to supply the oxygenated blood throughout the body that's what the job of heart is <clears throat> now in this cardiac cycle what we are going to see is that to pump this to take up the blood and to release the blood it needs to contract some region relax other then contract that relax other so here we are having atrium and ventricle so when it contracts atrium it relaxes ventricle when it contracts ventricle it relaxes atrium so these are the vice versa kind of situation okay so <clears throat> so let's begin with the different stages of this cardiac cycle and we are also going to find how the sound is actually generated so at the very beginning they start to take up the blood so the first stage actually there are three phases of cardiac cycle the first phase of the cardiac cycle is the ventricular diastole so that means the ventricle will relax and in all this case of cardiac cycle we will be taking example of ventricle because this is the region which is pumping the blood through the different cells of the body so this ventricle is relaxing so in this condition we call ventricular diastolic in that situation blood is filled in this atrium in both the sides both the sides the blood is filled in the atrium right and then <coughs> it just push so ventricle ventricle will contract ventricular contraction takes place so ventricle contracts means sorry art, atrial contraction takes place because art atrials are filled with blood so atrial contraction will takes place so it will take place and as a result the ventricle is in diastole or relaxation phase so it is contracting it is in relaxed phase now the blood is pumping through this region into this ventricle right so ventricle is ready to take up blood it is free of blood now <coughs> atrial contraction ventricle and when the blood is <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and when the blood is moving <coughs> when the blood is moving from atrial to the ventricular region it moves through several valves two valves actually two valves actually one valve that is present here <coughs> between the right and uh, right atrial and ventricle is called the tricuspid and left atrial and ventricle bicuspid so this tri and bicuspid valves opens <coughs> and this valve can only open in this one direction that's the beauty of the valves because they are destined to produce in such a way that they will open up in only one direction they can't be open in the other direction when you force to open them in the other direction they just simply close to block the flow of blood in that opposite direction okay so, so here the valve opens blood flow into the ventricle so ventricle is now filled with blood so this is the first stage let me write this stage <coughs> this stage is ventricular diastole or filling of blood to the ventricle and the phenomena here is av valves open <coughs> uh, 
and blood flow into the ventricle. So ventricle is now filled with blood. The second phase of this is the isovolumetric contraction. Contraction of ventricle. So ventricle is now filled with blood. So ventricular contraction. So ventricle will now contract. So as the ventricle contracts here, it starts to push the blood throughout the body, right? And there are two different sections from where they can push the blood throughout the region. One reason is that they need to push the blood in uh, the pulmonary <coughs> trunk and that pulmonary trunk will contain carboxygenated blood. So this should be CO2. And another region is the aortic arch through which the oxygenated blood will flow and then they will be divided into se several sub branches of uh, blood vessels and they'll, they supply the blood in different cells. So here the contraction will take place and the blood start to flow through this and this. Okay. So the valve, remember, so as the, the contraction of ventricle occur, as the ventricle is contracting, it also creates immense pressure there. That is why it is called an isovolumetric contraction. So it creates a large pressure there. So as it creating the pressure, it will create the pressure on bicuspid and tricuspid valve. And it will try to open those valve again. But remember, this valve can't be opened in the top side. It will only open in the bottom. So it will be force closed so that this ventricular blood cannot revert back or go back to the atrial region. To block it, those valve simply close. And then this is the time when AV valves close. And it generates a sound. The first sound designated is as lub. Okay. And then as the pressure builds up, as the blood is continuing, as the, as the contraction of ventricle is going on very tightly, so many, so much of pressure builds up. And then finally, it opens up the semilunar valves. And semi, remind you, semilunar valves can only be opened in top side, not in the bottom. So semilunar valves open and the blood start to flow through the aortic arch and pulmonary trunk. Through the pulmonary trunk to the, uh, it, it will move to the uh, lungs and through the aortic arch it will move to the different region of our body. And then the third phase which is isovolumetric relaxation. The third is the isovolumetric relaxation and to, for, for this to happen, blood again start to come to the aorta, sorry atrium through different region like superior, inferior, vera cava, blood start to fill the aorta as well as pulmonary uh, vein. So it is kind of filling the aorta in both uh, atrium in both this case. So atrium is kind of filled now with the blood that is coming through uh, from the body. As the atrium is filling, there is a chance that and at the atrium is kind of filled and atrium will contract. So atrial contraction will take place now. So it's now reverting the situation, cycling again. So it was constructed previously, then it, it finally it relaxing, then it contracts and the blood flows through that. We have talked about till now. Then again ventricle filled with blood and ventricle, so art, atrial is filled with blood and atrial will contract. So now atrial will contract. So when atrial is contracting, in this case, it is pu pushing the blood to the ventricle, right? So, as the atrial contraction is going and providing too much of pressure, there is a chance of moving those blood from ventricle to this semilunar blood valve, right? That that can be a, another possibility that due to this high pressure blood, some of the blood can move through this uh, aortic arch and pulmonary trunk but we won't want them because those blood is carbon dioxide rich so we don't want our cell to get those blood to prevent that there are valve like semilunar valve and they will close to prevent that carbon dioxide carbon dioxide containing blood should not move through aortic arch or pulmonary trunk they will block this process 
So for that, this particular valve, which is called the semilunar valve, <coughs> closed. And due to this closing of semilunar valve, it generates a second sound. It's called dub. That's how the sound lub dub lub dub lub dub. That sound, the typical sound that we find in heartbeat, it is designated as lub dub, start to generate. And those sound, I am telling you, never generates due to opening of any valve. Because the sound can only be generated due to the closing of the valve. Because when you open the door, the sound is not that strong. But when you close the door, shut the door, you see and you hear a very, very tough sound. That's what you're getting the sound due to the closing of the valve. First sound due to the closing of AV valves. Second sound due to the closing of semilunar valves. And all in both the cases, they close to prevent the backflow of the blood in, in unwanted region of our body. So that's the kind of uh, cycle, cardiac cycle is. And this cycle lasts from a particular fraction of second, as we know. Very fast, very fast uh, beat is going on. And this contraction is brought about by the pacemaker that is present on the heart. We know, we have talked about the pacemaker that is present here called the SA node or sinoatrial node. Then AV node or atrioventricular node. Now these are the nodes, they are conveying the electrical signals. And those electrical signals are then converted to mechanical signals when they come to the heart muscles. And heart muscles are behaving accordingly by getting the signal from those pacemakers. And also Parkinji fibers are there and other things are there. But that's how the heart is actually working. When atrial contraction is going on, ventricle relaxes. When the ventricle con construct contraction is going on, atrial relaxes. And due to this process, <coughs> they are pumping the blood throughout the body. And the two exceptions from here, normally aorta is carrying, normally aorta is carrying mostly oxygenated blood. And the vein is carrying mainly carbon dioxide containing blood. But there is an exception that pulmonary vein <coughs> contains oxygenated blood and it carries the oxygenated blood from our uh, lungs and the pulmonary uh, out, uh, uh, trunk is carrying carbon dioxide containing blood. These are the two exceptions of blood containing system because uh, we need to mix that oxygen in our lungs. For that reason, heart, is, heart must be well connected with our lungs. That's why heart is placed really close to lungs. Because so that it gets the oxygenated and carbon dioxide, uh, it can actually filter the carbon dioxide uh, containing blood with the oxygen pretty fast. That's the reason. Okay, so that's kind of it. And I hope that's helpful. Thank you.